Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Modern Mining. Tomorrow could be the first day of GPU mining's kind of resurgence into profitability. And that all relies on Zealous. My personal favorite crypto to mine right now, mainly because it's the most profitable, but the devs have been very promising and this big update that's about to happen is proof of that, assuming it goes well. So we'll see, it'll be a big test. So Zealous, I'm sure you've heard, is having a hard fork tomorrow and they're going to be changing the algorithm to Zealous Hash V2. And if you don't know what that means, in layman's terms, that means the algorithm is changing. So we need to update our miners as crypto miners to be able to continue mining this coin. Otherwise, once that algorithm switches, you're not going to be mining anymore. So you need to take the time today to update your miners and I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. And the good news is that profit should actually spike in the beginning of this because not everyone is going to switch over their miners, which means more coins are going to go to the people who do switch over. So honestly, I didn't have a great idea of what I needed to do to get everything prepared for this. But luckily, the sponsor of this video, Cryptex, has made it super easy and they have a full in-depth article that we're going to go over today as I switch my farm over to be able to just automatically switch to the new algorithm because it's going to happen about 1.30 a.m. Eastern time on July 11th. So I'll be asleep. I want this to be automatic. So let's hop into it. Real quickly, I just wanted to show that Zealous is the most profitable GPU mining coin right now and it is emitting over $100,000 to GPU miners every day. Some of that may be going to FPGAs, but we won't know what percentage until tomorrow. So in a few weeks, when I come back and look at this, let's remember that we were emitting 100K and the market cap was only 8.3 million. So what do we need to do to be prepared for this algorithm change? Well, honestly, Regal Miner makes it really easy. We just need to update our Regal Miner and add a couple different commands to our flight sheet and then it's all gonna happen automatically. So Cryptex has this great article that basically breaks down the different methods to do this switching. And we're going to look into this automatic switching from Regal Miner. Your Regal Miner right now is just set up to mine Zealous as normal. But we're gonna add a couple commands and those commands are gonna be this enable fork command and also setting our overclocks for the new forked algorithm because the algorithm is gonna be different. So that means the overclocks are also gonna be different. But don't worry, I'm gonna show you the overclocks in this video as well. So notice the first step is that we need to download the latest version of Regal Miner. And to do that, we're gonna go into HiveOS and go into one of our rigs. So I will go into the founder rig. This is the one I just built. And normally you would have an update HiveOS button right here, but since this update is so new, it's not there and we're gonna have to do something different. So let's go back to Cryptex's article. And if we go down to HiveOS switching to Zealous Hash V2, they actually already post the command for us to use, which makes it super easy. So let's copy that. And then once we're on our rig, we're gonna go up here and select this run command. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this command in here. And you can see I've ran it in the past for prior updates. And then it's as simple as hitting run. Okay, so I went ahead and updated on the gamble rig too. And so now this is also running the new version of Regal Miner, which is ready to take our new overclocking settings and commands that we need to add in based on this Cryptex article. So if we scroll down to switching Regal to Zealous Hash using HiveOS, you can see that this command dash dash enable fork, that's something that we need to add along with our overclock settings. So if we go into here and go into flight sheet, you can see that I have selected, we'll go ahead and edit for Zelle, my wallet, and then pool, I'm mining to Cryptex and I'm just using the global right there. And then for setup, this is my old flight sheet. So these are all my overclocking values and since there's 12 values, I'm individually overclocking each card because they each crash at different overclocks and this is what I found to be the most stable. So what we need to add is, let's go ahead and go copy it, is dash dash enable fork. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this in the very beginning of the flight sheet. And then I can hit enter to put that kind of on its own line. 
And then additionally, what we need to do is add our overclocks for the new algorithm because we don't really want to use the same ones. It would work, but we might as well kind of dial it in since we're going to be asleep for the first few hours. So how we do that, if we go back to the article, is we go to a little higher up and it shows that you need to add this parentheses fork in front of your new overclocks. So let's go ahead and copy these and we're going to put that in our flight sheet as well. So I'm actually going to delete these. I'm going to do it from scratch here. So dash dash lock chlor clock fork. Since I'm using 3060 Ti's and 3070's, from what I've seen, 1200 appears to be best. We're going to set this to 5001, and then this is going to set at 1000. So now we have both the new command enable fork and the new overclock saved. So we're going to go ahead and apply changes update, and let's make sure this doesn't break anything. It shouldn't, but we'll see. We'll give this a second to update. Let's hit F5 real quick to refresh this. You can see we're starting back up and our mega hash is climbing, so that's good. So it looks like everything worked. So this isn't gonna impact your mining right now, but it is gonna make sure that you're prepared for when the fork does happen. So that's it for that. Now let's see what it looks like on Cryptex Pool. So if you're not already mining the Cryptex Pool, and you're on Windows, then you can go into their site right here and I'll have all this link down below in the description, including this article because this was very helpful for me. And you can see Zealous right here. So if you wanna start mining on Windows, you would go into here and it's gonna give you your pool URL. So you would copy this right here as your pool URL and then you would put that into your mining config file. So whether it's Regal Miner or if you're deciding to use one of the other miners, this is what you would use. So how do you monitor how much you're making, when you're gonna get paid out? Well, it's super easy. So you just go back to your Hive OS or your Windows and you're gonna take your Zealous wallet. So I've got mine right here, I'm gonna copy that. And we're gonna go back to the Cryptex mining pool and just enter your mining address here. So we'll do that and then we'll search it and you should immediately see how many workers you're mining with, your hash rate, your unconfirmed balance, your total balance, and then you'll have these charts that show your hash rate over time. And I had a question the other day of, why does my Hive OS say I'm mining at two mega hash, but the pool says I'm mining at one mega hash? Well, the pool value varies over time. So it should average out to be very similar to your Hive OS number, but if you're mining on Hive OS at two mega hash, sometimes you're gonna be at one, sometimes you're gonna be at three. Over time, it should even out or average out to about your Hive OS numbers. So this is how you monitor it. And I recommend bookmarking this site because this is where you check how much you're making per day. Basically coming to the Cryptex pool and monitoring your stats here, that's where you wanna do it. Now for payouts, you're gonna have a minimum payout value. And what that means is you have to mine a set amount of coins before you actually get paid out. And that minimum amount of coins is different for different cryptocurrencies. So for Zealous, the minimum is 0.1 Zealous. And you can see that based in the settings tab right here. And this is gonna show you your payout threshold. So I really don't want to get paid every 0.1 zealous or I'm gonna get paid like 15 times a day, which is a lot of transactions to have to calculate come tax season. So I'm actually gonna change this to 1.0 zealous per day. And to actually set this value, you have to put in your IP address here and then hit the submit button. Obviously, I'm not gonna show you guys my IP address here, but the reason they do this is because I could go into anybody's wallet and mess around with their payout stats, but unless I have their IP address, I cannot do that. So once you set your IP address here, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It's gonna be blacked out for you guys. Then the submit button will turn blue and then your settings have been applied. So now my minimum payout is one zealous and I should get paid out every 16 hours or something like that about one time a day. So let's talk about a couple other features that Zealous has. They have this awesome monitoring bot right here. I would recommend going on your phone where you have the Telegram app installed already 
and pulling up the Cryptex website, you can just email the link to yourself so you can easily get to it. And then you're gonna go to this Telegram bot and hit send message and you're gonna be able to get the Telegram alert bot. And what this does is it alerts you of if your mining rig crashes or if your hash rate drops. It gives you a lot of real-time updates that sometimes HiveOS is kind of finicky on sending out. Sometimes I don't get alerted that my rigs are down in HiveOS for hours where I found that this Telegram alert bot is a lot more speedy with that. So it's totally optional, but it is a nice feature that Cryptex has. And one last feature I'll mention before we end this video so you guys can go ahead and get your farm set up is that if you don't really care for Zealous as a coin and want to just mine it and sell it into something else, well, Cryptex also makes that extremely easy with the mine anything get Bitcoin feature, which I've used a lot in the past. And now that I have a decent bag of Zealous, I may actually go this route, especially with Bitcoin being relatively low right now. So this is super easy to do. Basically, all it is is instead of getting paid out in Zealous, Cryptex does all the conversions and you get paid out in Bitcoin. And then you have this nice dashboard where you can actually see how much Bitcoin you have, your balance, what hardware is mining right now. So it's pretty nice and I'll show you how to do it because it's super simple. All you do is you set your wallet address to your Cryptex email. So you have to make a Cryptex account with your email and then in your flight sheet, you just set your wallet to your email address. So really quickly to show you that, if I was gonna make a new wallet to get paid out in Bitcoin, I would type in Zealous as the coin, address would be modern mining gmail.com and this would be zealous btc payouts from cryptex and i'll save it as a global wallet and what this allows me to do is go back to my workers and go into let's see the gamble rig and i can change this right here i'm going to go ahead and copy all of my overclocks that I just set because they're gonna get changed most likely. And then just in my wallet right here, I can select Zealous Bitcoin payments from Cryptex and make sure my overclocks are still in there, they are. Go ahead and hit update. And just like that, I'm now automatically getting paid out in Bitcoin. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch all of my rigs to that for a few days because I already have a big bag of Zealous and I wanna keep accumulating my Bitcoin. But that's another feature they offer. So some final thoughts. So some final thoughts on this Zealous V2 algorithm. I'm very curious to see, does it go bug free? And does everything perform as expected? Because if so, that's gonna give me a lot of confidence in the Zealous devs. They basically whip this algorithm up in this hard fork very quickly in comparison to the time frame it takes other projects to release different things. And those devs are also very GPU mining and CPU mining focused. The whole kind of point of this hard fork was to kick FPGAs off the network. So Zealous has a lot of potential for GPU mining and I'm really hoping that it continues to take off and perform well so that us GPU miners can keep mining from home and keep making relatively decent profits. A couple things to note is that you will now be able to mine Zealous with CPUs so it'll be interesting to see how much of the hash rate do CPUs take up. I believe they're supposed to be two to four times worse than GPUs so maybe it won't be profitable or if it is Maybe it's less profitable than Zephyr, but we'll see, that'll be interesting. And another thing to know is AMD cards will not work on Zealous Hash V2, at least out of the gate. There's not gonna be any miners that support them right up front. So keep those things in mind. Thanks again to Cryptex for sponsoring this video. If you guys like this, especially the mining and getting Bitcoin feature, check out this video where I break it down a little bit more. See you guys next time.